So I walked into this room and I got a little whiff of some ammonia. So see if we can pinpoint where it's coming from with a sulfur stick. Um, you light it with the lighter, you light the end. And whenever it hits some ammonia vapor, it'll change and um, it'll react with the ammonia and it'll uh, change into like a white cloud kind of, so. Let's see. It's going. It's probably coming from that shaft seal. Light up. So I get it lit. You'll see it start to. There it is. Check for some other leaks. It's an old ammonia package with um, a subcooling circuit. They call it an economizer. So basically, the receiver is behind us. Oh, it's stinky in here. High pressure liquid goes through this heat exchanger, which is just um, basically um, tube and shell with ammonia on the other side. Um, it cools the ammonia. Comes over here to this um, solenoid valve, pan expansion valve. Then it gets dumped into the recirculator. From here, it gets pumped out to the evaporators. So that solenoid is controlled by the liquid level inside the vessel. And that's the float that energizes. So they try to maintain around, I say like a quarter of the way full of liquid. This compressor shut down last night. Oil supply pressure over range failure. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna turn this off. Go to my logs. Shit's pissing out pretty good. I can hear it. Alarm log. go to event log actually trim log Let's see if we can see what our um, oil pressure was at that time oil temp at 400 psi uh, I'll have to start it up and see where we're at <clears throat> could be just a transducer because I don't think my oil pressure could have gotten that high so we'll see the oil pump my pressure goes to <clears throat> almost 300 psi 
usually it should be about 60 psi over discharge i'm thinking i might have an issue with my uh, relief on my uh, oil pump but i can't I'm trying to open it and close it and adjust it but it's not budging might have to take it apart 